Hey everyone, welcome to the Front Row with Ed. Today we're gonna to talk about an interaction that I had today with one of my clients. She travels for work and she's got this pain subscapula or underneath her shoulder blade. And the foam roller usually works pretty well, but she refuses to use the foam roller when she's on the road in a hotel. So I have another idea for her and I thought I would share it with you guys also. All right, here we go. So the first thing we wanna talk about is where the pain lies. What we're after is don't worry about the muscle, okay? Don't get hung up on the names, all that kind of stuff. All I know is that it hurts underneath the shoulder blade and we're gonna to try to do something about it. When the shoulder blade, when your arm is down here at your side, your shoulder blade covers up, okay, most of that rib cage. This guy is fused, but as you bring your arm up or across your body, it takes that shoulder blade and it glides it laterally. And that's where the money is, okay? That's where the treasure lies, is up and underneath here, that usually gives us that dull, gnawing pain that we can't get to. If I'm standing here, this is the edge of my shoulder blade. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cradle my arm. And when I do that, it then takes the scapula all the way out to here, and it exposes that area. So what you'll do is, you'll cradle that arm a little bit, this way here, to expose that. And what you'll need is a tennis ball and a pair of nylons, and a wall. I'll show you what we'll do. So you're gonna to have to use some visualization here, okay, but I think you'll get the idea. Tennis ball, in this example, I'm gonna work behind my right shoulder blade. So what I'll do is I'll put this over here. By the way, you have it in a nylon, so that every time the ball drops, or every time you move, you don't have to go chasing it, or your dog doesn't eat it. Okay, that's why it's in a pair of nylons. And you're gonna come right in between the scapula and your spine. And that's where we're going to try to roll out and get to some of those spots that are difficult to get to. So what does it look like? This is what it looks like. I'm going to put it over my right shoulder here. It takes a little bit of time and practice to kind of figure it out. I'm going to cradle this arm across my body. Remember what I said. When I cradle my arm across my body here, I'm supporting it with my left hand. It takes my scapula and it laterally rotates it to expose those spots underneath underneath the shoulder blade. And I gotta do a little bit of the work myself, actually. Okay, so there's plenty of sore spots in through here. And what you'll have to do is, you're gonna explore up and down the entire length of the scapula. And you're gonna look for those spots that are sore. And you might even find that spot that you feel like has given you some of that pain. Once you find it, breathe and relax, first of all, because you'll hold your breath. Then what you'll do is each sore spot gets about 30 to 60 seconds worth of attention. I'm not pressing and holding, I'm kind of rolling it out just a little bit. Make sure you do both sides, even though only one side is symptomatic, because the other side will give you an idea of what normal feels like, and you'd be surprised at how sore you are on the other side. At the end of this video, I'm gonna put two links to additional videos that I want you to do. So the first thing you'll do is, Use your tennis ball and a pair of nylons and roll out underneath that shoulder blade, in between the shoulder blades. Work on that whole area, 30 seconds to a minute per spot. After that, you'll do wall angels. And like I said, I'll put you the link at the bottom of that there because then what we wanna do is, we wanna strengthen those muscles again, but in a better position once they're relaxed. And then I'm also gonna have you do another stretch, which Murray and Jeffrey call the gate stretch working on trying to open up that thoracic spine and getting some mobility of the rib cage. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that now. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And good luck, and never stop learning.